Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life, and I am at Anchorage International Airport. I'm actually taking off in about an hour for my flight to Seattle and then my flight to Orlando. And I thought, you know what? It's been too long since we've done just a good old fashioned travel vlog. So that is exactly what today is gonna be. Now, since I do have a little bit of time, I'm actually heading up to the Alaska Airlines Lounge. I'm just gonna grab something to eat, maybe something to drink, get a little bit of time uh, in a place that's a little bit more comfortable than the gate that I'm flying out of. As far as food goes here at the lounge, you can see they have some yogurt and granola. There's some hard boiled eggs. We've got bagels, cream cheese, some muffins, look like a zucchini muffin green tea muffins, some fruits. And over here we have the on-demand pancake machine, one of my favorite parts of the Alaska Lounge. And just like that, our time at the Alaska Lounge has come to an end because we have a flight to catch. So one flight down, that actually wasn't too bad. Uh, pretty quick flight, a little over three hours. The seat next to me was open because I was in premium class, so that was nice. Uh, this is the second time I've been, second or third time, I've been through the Seattle airport since like all of the pandemic craziness has started. This is certainly the busiest I've seen it in months, without a doubt. But I have about two and a half hours here in Seattle, so I'm actually gonna go to the Alaska Lounge. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of food, try to get a little bit of work done before the flight to Orlando. Looks like we got some granola bars, some pretzels, some cookies, popcorn, apple crisps. I know they have soups and salads upstairs as well. I think I'm gonna go white cheddar popcorn and some cookies and some cheese. And then I've got this great little spot over here in the corner. This is gonna be my home for a couple hours. So I've been here in the lounge for a couple of hours. It's actually been really productive. I got a couple of new social media channels to set up. I got a new email address set up that I needed to do. So I've used my time here in Seattle, uh, at least in a pretty productive way. Now I have about a half an hour until my flight to Orlando boards. So I'm gonna start packing stuff up and head to my gate. I do love the view here though. I could just sit here all day and watch this. I love my little corner seat. It's nice and private. This was a pretty perfect layover. So I decided to hop in here to the Sub Pop record store here in the SeaTac airport. I'm pretty sure I've vlogged this before. Definitely one of my favorite stores here in the airport. Sub Pop, of course, the iconic record label based here out of Seattle. And I found a couple things that I love. Um, this black Sub Pop flat bill, definitely getting that. They also have like a mask, and I have a hard time finding masks that fit my face. And this is amazing. So I'm gonna get one of these. I actually might get two of the masks. I got my hat, got my mask, and as I was leaving, he was like, do you want some stickers? I was like, sure, give me a couple free stickers. Need to make one stop before my flight and fill up my water bottle. You guys, we made it. We just landed in Orlando. I can already feel the humidity through the jetway though. There is something amazing about arriving in Orlando and seeing all the Disney World signs everywhere. You can see both of my bags made it. Now I'm heading downstairs to go get my rental car. There's my name right there. So going to the gold spaces. I did not rent one of these, but I kind of wish I would have. Holy cow. Okay, so basically I can take any car from the gold section here. Now I'm trying to figure out what I want. Do I want like a little SUV kind of car. Ooh, I kind of like this car over here. It looks very sporty like. It's white with like a black roof. It says it has no key. Let's not take that car. So I think this is the winner. I like something a little bit bigger. It's a Nissan Rogue. I've rented one of these before. It looks pretty fun. I think this is gonna be the one I take today. And there's a very important first thing that you do when you fly into Orlando and you live in Alaska. That is figure out how in the world you turn on the AC in your car. Because it might be one in the morning, but it is muggy and sticky and I want to take a shower already. So let's, let's get some air going. Ah, uh, there we go. 60 degrees, that's as low as it gets. I guess that'll work. Okay, it is a little after 1 a.m. and I'm super hungry. I was gonna go to like an IHOP, but I don't really wanna sit down and eat because I just wanna get to my hotel. I have an early morning event tomorrow morning, so I wanna get some sleep tonight. 
but I need something to eat. And there's a Wawa that is close to the airport and I love Wawa. I'm a huge, huge Wawa fan. And so for me, I was like, well, at least I can go in there and get like something to tide me over until breakfast in the morning. So let me show you what I'm having for dinner. You guys, I'm keeping it really fancy tonight. I got a spicy Chipotle chicken wrap. Uh, so I'm gonna sit here in the parking lot of Wawa and I'm gonna eat my spicy chipotle chicken wrap and then I'm gonna drive about an hour over to my hotel I'm staying in the town of Melbourne. Is it Melbourne or Melbourne? I know in Australia It's Melbourne in Florida. I'm not sure which is I'm gonna say Melbourne um, That's not exactly where my work is while I'm here. That's just the hotel They put me up at so I'm working in that area like Brevard County But I'm gonna give you guys a hotel tour uh, room tour excited to see my room when I get there But first I'm hungry I'm gonna go eat my gas station dinner. Okay, I'm not mad at this wrap. It's really delicious. It's actually kind of spicy. It's really good. Uh, I know at its core, Wawa is a gas station, but I love it. I don't know why I love it. Maybe it's the novelty. We don't have them in Alaska. I always like stopping at them. Oh, <coughs> piece of chip, <coughs> piece of ch Chipotle chicken went down the wrong pipe as I just <laughs> choke on a vlog. Don't mind me. Also, I like the juxtaposition between the fact that I just like was first class on a flight, like flew first class, and then I'm eating like a wrap from a gas station. That's my life. Just got to my hotel. Here's where I'm staying at the Hilton. It looks like a nice hotel, that's for sure. I wanted to give you a quick room tour and then let's have a little sit down chat before I need to get some sleep. Now, one of the first things I noticed when I walked in is you can tell this is kind of an older hotel. Uh, it's an older property. It's still in pretty good shape, but there are just some things, again, I worked in the hotel industry for a long time. There are some things that I can tell uh, this is an older property, but they've done a really good job of giving it like an updated and modern feel. When you first walk in, here's the room. The first thing you see on the left is the bath room and here's one thing I love look at the light for vlogging like it's even light it looks so good love this so you can see great mirror there it's got the sink got towels and stuff down there it does come with a toilet very fancy uh, nice rolling shower doors back here pretty nice shower and out here we have our closet so there's enough hangers. That's kind of all that I'll need. There is a safe little seating bench there. We do have the full body mirror, which I love for getting ready. Uh, my room is a single king, so it has a king size bed, which is great. I'm gonna sleep so good in that. Again, just super modern, really nice chair over there. It's got like a nice desk work area, huge TV, which is awesome. Let's see what's down here. Little mini fridge there. Over here, just like more storage, I do have a coffee maker. Definitely will be using that. So, yeah, but there you go. I don't know what the view is like out there. We'll have to check that out tomorrow. But I think this is going to work great for the whole time I'm here. Now, let's talk about why the heck I'm even here. Why am I in Florida? Well, a lot of you guys know that I do freelance marketing work as well, and one of my clients that I've had for a few years that I just absolutely love uh, is having an event here in Florida next weekend. And when they do these events around the country, I normally fly in for like the week before, a couple days after, that kind of thing, uh, just to you know get ready for the event, get ready for a lot of the other events they have during the week. So. That's why I'm here. I don't think I'm going to show a lot of this event. I will definitely show stuff that I'm gonna do around Florida. I think I'm going to Disney Springs tomorrow night. Uh, there's a lot of things that I have planned while I'm here. I definitely have a lot of downtime, so I'm gonna to try to do a lot of fun things, take you guys along, show you guys that stuff. But for now, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go get some sleep. Uh, I think I have like five hours before I have to be up in the morning. So friends, thanks for coming along with me as I traveled from Anchorage, Alaska, here to Melbourne, Florida, all checked into my hotel. And uh, honestly, I'm looking forward to a week uh, here in the sunshine and the warmth. I did talk to Sherry on my drive here and she is continuing to do better. Her skin is feeling good. Her first day kind of by herself went really well. She's actually getting some work done. And so I'm feeling better about leaving. I had a lot of guilt around leaving when she was doing so poorly, but now that she's like healing and getting better, I feel better about it. So friends, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next Leg Life video.